All right, in this video, I'm going to do a couple examples of multiplying some matrices. So in part A here, we're going to find the product B times A, where matrix A is given by 1, 2, 3, 0, negative 1, 5, and B, matrix B is given by 1, 2, 4. Okay, so a couple, a couple remarks. One thing, the order in which you multiply matrices together is very important. Okay, um, you may be able to do, for example, B times A, but if you reverse the order, um, A times B, one of two things can happen. Either, either you can multiply, you may get something very different, or you may not be able to multiply at all. So it says we have to put matrix B first, so I'm going to write that one down. Uh, 1, 2, negative 4. And then it says we're going to multiply that by matrix A. So 1, 2, 3, 0, negative 1, and 5. Uh, one little thing that I always think about is, I think about the dimensions. So notice our first matrix is a 3 by 1 matrix. Um, notice our second matrix is a 2 by 3 matrix. It's got uh, two rows and three columns. If the numbers um, on the inside are not the same, what that says is, so these are not the same, what that tells us actually is we cannot multiply. Okay, so I don't know, maybe kind of a lackluster first example here, um, but we simply can't multiply these matrices in the order that they're given, okay? Um, we could actually, uh, we could do A times B, so I don't think that was on here. Uh, there was a, a, sec a second example. Let's go ahead and calculate a, a times B, though. So B times A, this is simply not possible. Um, let's, let's reverse the order. Let's try to fi find um, A times B. Well, A times B will have 1, 2, 3, 0, negative 1, and 5. And then matrix B is 1, 2, negative 4. So again, let's think about the dimensions. My first matrix is a 2 by 3 matrix. Um, notice my second matrix, matrix B, we said that's a 3 by 1 matrix. Notice uh, the sort of inside dimensions are the same. That means we can multiply them. The next thing I think about is the size of the uh, our, our solution matrix after we multiply it says we should get a 2 by 1 matrix after we do the multiplication. So that's something that, uh, just something I think about to kind of help me uh, hopefully stay organized. So when we do our matrix multiplication, we basically multiply rows by columns. Okay, so what I mean is um, I'm going to look at the first row and I'm going to multiply that by the first column. Well, in this case, there's only one column at all. And what we do is we multiply corresponding entries. So to, to, uh, to do the matrix multiplication, I'm going to take 1 times 1, and then I add to that, and then I just multiply the next two numbers. So then I'm going to take uh, 2 times 2, and then I'm going to add to that the next two numbers uh, when I multiply, which will be 3 times negative 4. And I'm going to do all this arithmetic. This is going to be my first entry um, in, my, in my matrix. If there were more columns, I would now just repeat. I would take the first row and multiply by the next column. And that would give me my next entry. But in this case, there's only one column. So I'm now going to move to the second row and just repeat this process. So I'm going to take 0 times 1 plus, and again, I just move to the next entries. I'm going to take negative 1 times 2 plus, and again I move to the next, uh, the next entries, which will be 5 times negative 4. And at this point it's just uh, doing some arithmetic and simplifying this down. Uh, it looks like we have 1 plus 4, which is going to give us 5. This is negative 12. So it looks like we have 5 minus 12, which will give us negative 7. And then in our bottom row, we have 0, uh, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, 5 times negative 4 is negative 20, negative 2 plus negative 20 will give us negative 22, 
And again, notice we ended up with a 2 by 1 matrix at the very end. We said we would get a 2 by 1 matrix. And that's what we have. It has two rows and one column. And uh, we've now performed the, the, the multiplication of these two matrices. So in a, uh, another video, we'll do this other example here, uh, the one at the bottom. We'll do A times B. And this is one you can definitely perform the, the arithmetic on.